welcome back to another Jitter Basics tutorial. Today we will be covering groups in the Design and Animate tab. So let's get started. Now in our previous video we covered layers and just like an image, an object or a piece of text, a group is also just a layer. But what makes a group so different is that a group is a collection of different layers. So if we open up this group we see that this layer contains other layers and like you see here we even have a group in this group which means we can nest groups into other groups with no limits you can nest an infinite amount of groups into each other now how do we group elements we first select the elements we want to group by pressing shift or dragging over them so I will press shift and if we want to group them we do either Control G on Windows or Command G on Mac to group or we can do right click and press the group key. Now how do we ungroup them? We press our group and then right click and group or we do Control Shift G to ungroup or Command Shift G on Mac. Now groups have three use cases. The first one is usability. So if we create a group, it allows mm -hmm. us to drag around this group just like it's one element so we don't have to always select all the individual elements we can just select the group drag it around as one piece now the second use case of groups is copying it because imagine if we didn't have groups and we didn't want one notification but two notifications we would have to select every individual element and then copy them over and even make make sure that the spacing between these elements is the same but now that we have groups we can just select a group and then do Control C, Control V on Windows or Command C, Command V on Mac or just press Alt and drag it around to make a copy of it. And then the last use case of groups is properties. So a group is not really an element but more a collection of elements but it has properties. So if we select a group and we go to the right panel here we get some layout properties like angle corner radius size position we can clip the content and I will explain this in another video we can change the background the opacity and the shadow now something really important to notice is that a group is a parent element to the different layers within it what I mean by that is if you change a property to the group it will change that property to every single element so imagine we make the opacity of the group to 50% that will make the entire group 50% and if we now want one element of this group to be more than 50% there is no way to overwrite this so if you change something to a group it will change on every individual element now let's go to the animate tab so there are two types of groups in the animate tab on the one hand we have the groups from our uh, design tab and so why would we use these so right now we have here an animation of our notification but imagine we want this entire notification to move up a bit while this animation happens then we can instead of selecting individual elements we can select a group and then say okay new animation let's do custom and just move it a bit up all right let me do this real quick and so what you see right now is that the entire group is moving up a bit now the second type you might already have noticed is that this notification here is not one animation. There are different animations nested within this and by default when you animate you will get something like this, separate animations. But when you make bigger projects this might get messy real quick and so what you can do is select the animations that match together and just do uh, like in our layer panel, Control G or Command G. Or right click group and that will create a sequence and sequence is just the word for group in our animation tab now we can right click to rename it and say okay notification and this is how we created our animating group I hope you learned something new in this video make sure to check out jitter.video to try this on your own and I'll see you in the next tutorial